What it is, guys, it's your Dino. We're back at it again with another review, so let's just get straight into it. This one is for the third and final part of the Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. This is Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge. This is a brand new game that comes out on the 10th of the month. It has three difficulty modes, Hero, Normal, and Hard. I recorded all this in Hero Mode, so you guys can see what it's like on that new Hero Mode where you can play it at the easiest difficulty and just enjoy the game. It has a, a cool feature where it doesn't let you die or it all blocks on hero mode, but on normal and hard, it doesn't. I played this game on all three difficulties, but I feel like I want to highlight hero mode because it is available for the lowest common denominator for those people who just want to play games and have fun. And it is all about that here on the channel as always guys if you like the content make sure you're subscribed like the videos share the videos and all that jazz it really does help we are trying to reach a thousand subscribers that's our next goal so thank you for helping us get closer up to that if you do subscribe as always we'll just get straight into it if you have a playstation 5 a series x or s a playstation 4 pro or an xbox one x or you're playing this on steam this will run at 4K 60. This is running at 4K 60 on my um, capture card because I have a, a Ava Media 4K Ultra. It records at 4K 60 and it gives high dynamic range and all that pretty cool shininess. It's a brilliant game, guys. It's an amazing entry into the Ninja Gaiden series. And I feel like showing this off in hero mode allows me to tell you guys about the gameplay as a as a opposed to the difficulty of the game the gameplay is amazing you play ryu hayabusa and he is back in form with all these awesome skills and abilities he's got nempo he's got all these different weapons he uses from his staff to the claws to the dragon sword to a new weapon that they've added in for this one is this brand new tech bow which is pretty cool there are some other cool things that they've added but i don't want to give out spoilers and just so you know this review will cover achievements as well and so you'll know about those and you'll know that that the achievement list is attainable for most of it for anyone playing on the difficulty of hero However, there are always difficulty achievements in Ninja Gaiden games where you have to play at higher difficulties or get this highest rating, like with the Devil May Cry series, where you have to get like a double S or a triple S and stuff like that. So for those achievement hunters, trophy hunters, that might be something you might take into consideration if these games aren't always the games that you can max out on because it requires super high form and skill to flow all the attacks and stuff. So bear that in mind if you are going to achievement hunt with this one however the gameplay freaking amazing i love the system i love the way that they work it you've got your skills your feet your karma you can unlock and make yourself more powerful by killing people and stuff like that and collecting the diamond skulls and the golden scarabs as always they've been a thing that's tied in with these these three games you can collect them they allow you to get super permanent upgrades and supercharge ryu hayabusa and make him stronger than he usually is they have done a really good job with the qtes which is quick time events they are very easy to do and i do believe that in the spirit of accessibility for people you can actually skip them by going into the settings and going and enabling auto qte mode which will do all of the QTEs for you without you having to worry about it if you are having to play and you have accessibility issues I usually play using a an adaptive controller with paddles and stuff so it makes it a lot easier for me but PlayStation 5 doesn't have one of those right now they haven't released the third party controller that allows you to have paddles and stuff right now but when they do I'll definitely be picking one up because it really does help me play and as you guys know, being a proponent of in disabilities and mental health and accessibility awareness, it's a key thing to have that level of accessibility for me. Anyway, 
this game is amazing they've got some really cool systems they've got some really cool skins i'm using one of them in the gameplay because i just thought i'd show it off because it's a really cool skin that they've got in the game but you can look like a demon all the time and you've got the added characters and the added gameplays in this game you have access to the clan battle for shadow of the world ninja gaiden 3 is not not included because they've removed the online mode in favor of ninja trials because this game came out in a previous generation so to try and adapt those old multiplayer systems they've had to compromise and create different versions of them by doing like ninja trials tag missions and stuff like that so it has added uh, a difference to the game and i do feel that that is a nice compromise as opposed to trying to make a janky multiplayer system that wouldn't work right on the playstation 5 or 4 whatever you're playing it on they've done an amazing job of it though the the load screens on the playstation 5 are amazing there's hardly anything there they've done a really good job of it definitely recommend playing it on one of the newer consoles because of the seamless or play way it plays it just it's amazing they've done such a good job as you can see i just brought up the um thing to show off the different uh tracking of your movements and abilities there it's, it's a really good game overall they've done such a great job i do like the way that the characters respond and it is a bit tough even on the, on the hero mode they are pretty brutal and will not give you a moment to breathe so you will have to learn to play like a ninja on this game they've done a great job with the gameplay the playability the replayability is amazing definitely would play this for mindless hack and slash fun and definitely recommend it I, as i've said in previous videos regarding this this trilogy this is an amazing upgrade from the original versions of the games on the 360 and stuff like that they've done a great job it is absolutely amazing cannot fault them it's smooth it's clean there's no artifacting no glitching even on the consoles where usually you'd see it run at a lower quality with these new hardware it's just amazing they've done such a good job of it i do like the game i think koei tecmo have done a great job with publishing this game and spreading awareness for it and team ninja have done a great job of it as well it shows a passion for the game and the franchise and i definitely recommend picking it up i got given it as a copy to review thank you very much to the people who gave it to me koei tecmo you are amazing and i definitely want to recommend that you pick up this game when you can guys because it's a great game the hack and slash is fun it is gory it is fun it is it's, it's a great story the way it tells it is amazing and you can have a variety of different audio tracks you can have subtitles with 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 japanese speaking and stuff like that very good job that they've done this it is amazing the story of this one is very very cool very macabre very dark and I'm not going to spoil anything for you but it's absolutely balls to the walls action packed straight out of the gate they've done an amazing job of it the story just i love it i think they've done an amazing job even when it was first released even though i didn't play it on my consoles i did watch people play it and i always wanted to play it but i just didn't get time to pick it up and play it but now that i've had this um remaster be made for the new collection I've had the ability to play it and definitely say it was worth the wait playing it now on these upgraded consoles where it's running at the higher resolutions and higher frame rates it looks beautiful and i cannot fault them for the time that they've taken to put into this to make it look this good it is amazing definitely recommend picking it up it is so much fun to play the storyline is great the action is great the difficulty scaling when it goes from hero mode to normal and to hard is definitely there it's apparent it's it's a big jump each time so you go from hero then up to normal and it's like like yeah this is tough and then when you go to that hard mode it is literally night and day 
on how difficult it is you're dead very quickly it does take a lot of practice to get good at this game and i definitely recommend playing it on the lower difficulties and then working your way up to the harder difficulties if you are going to go for that completion run and try and get the platinum or the full clear of achievements it is so much fun to play storyline the cinematics i i can't fault it on on a, on a rating system it gets five dinos for gameplay and replayability and it gets five dinos for fun factor it's just so much fun to play i was only supposed to play like a 30 minutes worth of content each for each game so i can break it down for the video but i ended up playing like an hour or two for each one and it's just so good it's hard to put it down but you can just literally go through the game at your leisure save it at intervals throughout the level you'll find those you'll save and it is a game that you can pick up and put down though so as always guys i greatly appreciate you watching if you are subscribed to the channel thank you very much and if you aren't subscribed or following all the social medias and the twitch and stuff i greatly appreciate if you did that it will also be linked in the description below and i'll try and link as many things or games and stuff like that in the description thank you for watching guys take care be safe be well and have fun gaming bye guys